General, you were Secretary of Defense for 712 days. You said you did as best you could, as long as you could. Mm -hmm. You were also famously asked, what keeps you up at night? What keeps you up at night now? While there, nothing did keep me up at night, although the phone rang an awful lot at night. Um, you know, we'll, we'll forget that. That was just minor stuff, uh, part of the duty. Uh, but now there is one thing that worries me more than ever, and that is this willingness to look at people we disagree with politically during elections and all and say they're completely wrong. Uh, they could not be right. Uh, our willingness to listen to only one television news station or one, one news station. This idea that somehow uh, we don't have to unify to keep this experiment called America alive because we all live here by, by choice. We're, most of us were born here by choice or moved here by choice. Outside of serving in a political office, is there any way any one individual like yourself could possibly change this conversation? Change this no. dynamic. No, this is not, there's not one person driving this hatred in the country that's loose or this contempt for one another, and there's no one person that's going to change it. When someone starts bandying this enemy of the state or you're a terrorist because you think differently than someone else, uh, it's time we stand up for someone. Especially it's important that we stand up for them and don't allow them to be called that when we disagree with them. In other words, we don't just want to stand up for the ones we agree with. If we see someone being called a terrorist because they have a different point of view and they're a fellow American, let's keep our affection for one another and protect them and say, I disagree 100% with you and I, I don't agree with you being called a terrorist and by the way, I'm going to dinner with you tonight. You know, we, we got to get over this stuff, what we're doing. Anyway, there we go. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.